Good morning, my friends. This is Asha of Happy Farm Business Permaculture. And today I am going to concentrate on this tree here. This is pomegranate. And today I want to show you how to prune a pomegranate tree. Recently we did pruning of guava tree. Now I want you to see how to prune a pomegranate tree so that it can give you good yields and good fruits. As we said before, you have to study each tree to find out how to prune it because they don't all put fruits in the same manner so today we will do the pomegranate <coughs> and i will be able to show you how to prune a pomegranate as you can see, this one here has been very well pruned before, so we're not going to do very hard pruning, but at least I'm going to show you the basics on how to prune a pomegranate tree to give you maximum yield. So, for example, I want you to see this is the base of this pomegranate tree and I have already been pruning it throughout its life and you can see it is well aerated from the bottom. Um, it has, for example, this branch here is putting on new shoots here and it goes up putting on a few new shoots here and there and uh, i want to see, i want you to see this particular one this particular branch is the one i want to teach you using so here it puts another new shoot here which has never fruited before but when we come back here we see all along it had this old shoot for example that shoot there this shoot had a fruit last season this one had a fruit last season that one that one too had this one had so many fruits last season and uh, so many others on this branch you can see this You can see you can see it had fruit like um, most of the tips. You can see that tip there. It had fruit. This tip here had fruit. This one had fruit that you can see it had fruit. But one thing I want you to know is how how a pomegranate puts on its fruits. Now you can see a pomegranate will put fruit right at the tip of the new shoot. So, for example, 
this one you can see it's already flowering at the tips and when you go backwards it has new shoots it's putting out which are going to flower you can see this one here this way now here you can see it is putting on fruits at right at the tip of the new shoots so when you go to prune a tree you got to understand try and learn how it puts trees you can see this here was a new shoot it has already put that fruit but right at the tip same you can see this one here this here you can see right there at the tip it's for putting fruit when we come to this branch here it comes there branches and you see the fruits are right at the tips of the new shoots at the tips of the new shoots you can see the fruit will be at the tip you see the fruit is right at the tip of the new shoots everywhere and um, the reason I kept I let this tree go into fruiting is so that I can show you its uh, fruiting pattern and like the guava and so that you can know what and which part to prune or what to look for when you go out to prune you come to pruning you will take for example a branch like this it had so many shoots which have already had fruits and now cannot uh, give fruits they are more or less like dead at the ends and you see the ends is where you want your fruit to give you fruits you see now like that one cannot uh, bring forth another fruit unless now we get a new shoot for example like this one here so you can choose for example since most of this branch has already given many fruits so we're going to cut somewhere for example here this is a new shoot which has come up okay so taking this branch you can see from down here it has some very young and vibrant branches or twigs those ones but when you continue with the same branch you can see that most of it is like dead uh, it's not dead uh, as in dead but because it had uh, fruit on most of the twigs so they end up looking like they are dead like that one you see that one so you see when you follow the whole of this branch you can see that it will not put much fruit you see the ends pomegranate 
trees um, bear fruits at the tips of the twig so you see all those tips are dead so what we're going to do is the whole of this branch we follow downwards there is this one twig there which has come out of this main branch but you can see here it is not very strong so what we'll do is we'll go backwards and we are going to get the strongest and the most vibrant of the branches that are coming out of this main branch so we zoom on this ones here and this is what we are going to leave but we are going to get rid of the whole of that branch the whole of it we're going to like hard prune this whole branch because it's going to waste the energy of this tree and it will not give much so we'll go down and we'll cut it here you see here this is where we're going to cut so we're going to leave this one here this branch this is what we're going to leave and we are also going to leave that one and these ones which are coming up here so that we get rid of this main branch here you can see we'll get rid of this main branch here and we'll let these ones now grow into bigger branches and uh, we are going after some time we are going to choose the strongest and the most vibrant and then that is what we will leave but for now we are just going to get rid of this main branch here to let these ones grow and the one that will be most vibrant after some time is what we are going to leave and get rid of the others so let's go so we're going to cut here here is where we're going to cut so for now let me put the camera down and then you'll see what we've done so this is how it looks so we're going to let these ones grow and although they are vertical I will show you another one that was vertical and I managed to get it to move to the side so that it can still leave uh, air circulation so you see this branch here this other one here used to be a vertical branch this one. but now you can see it's away from the others and at an angle uh, what I did is that uh, I tied it with this rope you see this rope this one i tied it i pulled it off the main trunk and i tied it away to this post and now even if i remove you can see this rope is now um the rope is now loose but the branch it's now far away from the others and it is uh, good to go so you see all the other branches are really putting up fruit 
and that is what we're looking at you see for example what i was telling you about the tips you see like this tip here has come from the main branch and uh, here you see right at the tip is where we have the flowers that are going to give fruit you can see how productive this twig is because it's very well aerated and it is away from the others 